Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's episode two, going for the ever daunting task of completing this scenario on deity and achieving the highest possible score. Uh, there's a lot of discussion about how tough this is. I've seen it online. People talking about how hard it is. I have encountered very, very difficult uh, scenarios trying to uh, finish it myself. And uh, I'm hoping we've found all of the exact strategies required to make it happen. So let's continue. Uh, as we ended the last video, we were discussing about the movement strategies needed in order to take this city uh, on turn six, which is the turn we're on. And I think I've got it. If the hoplite comes in to take this archer, which we're going to do now, it frees up the movement of these three units here, the two heteroi and the hippospist, uh, to go in to take the city. This particular unit here can get to this tile and be in position to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventh movement would go here, and you can see he's got seven movements. So he's going to go stand there, and this unit here, who does have a promotion, uh, so we're, if we can get away with it, we won't shoot, or we won't hit, but I'm hoping we'd, uh, we're we going to move to here and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, he can still hit. Boom, just like that. And this hippospist will move like that. Uh, and then what we're going to want to do is move uh, the general into position. Uh, so we'll have to move him to here in order to make sure this guy gets uh, contact with him. This would also work, but then I would not be able to protect him on the next turn. And Alexander the Great cannot die in this scenario. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have done that. Um... So, unfortunately, we have to move him in to a position where he's locked. But I think I'll lock him here, actually. Uh, no, I'll lock him here so that this archer gets hit next turn. With him here, this archer will be able to get the movement next turn. If I had put him here, this archer would have been out of position. Uh, this settler... Uh, I gotta decide. Do I want this city or that city? It doesn't really matter. Um, I have another settler coming that can maybe go to there. I think I'll probably go to there. Although this guy's in the way. No, I'm going to go to here. I'll go to there. Next turn, we can jump on there. So, uh, what we can do is we can take a quick look here. This is a 50 to 31. This is a 56 to 31. This would be the first hit we're going to want to do. There's your big macaroni there. And the hope is that this hit will be enough to finish it off so that this guy can take his promotion. What do you think? Gonna happen? Nope, it didn't. Oh well. Uh, but we do, I think it's worth... Or is it? Do you think it's worth it? Or do I take the promotion and take the city next turn? I think I'm gonna take the promotion. And not waste. Waste not, want not. Yep. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Sorry. Just organizing the doggy. There. Okay. <laughs> Try to keep Alex on the road. Yeah, that's a good point. Keeping Alex on the road. Yeah. Good point, chat. Genius. Genius strats from chat. Uh, okay, next turn. Now, this is where you come into a bit of a logjam. There's a moment here where you've got to try to push through this as fast as possible. Um, because there's a lot of units to kill. And uh, it's not fun. Uh, there goes there. Found that city up in there. 
Um, we're just going to quickly grab all the tiles. Eventually this city will grab some of them as well. Um, and then this city will want to, uh, no, sorry, this city here will want to build a water mill and we're going to build it right here. <laughs> like that. So the, the units can jump onto the road and then take off. I actually could have built there as well. Because I don't think they have bridge technology yet. So I think that that's going to cost them movement. Not that, big, not that big of a deal. Okay, the 2-3 and the 1-3 with 2 gold. That's fantastic. Uh, this settler, we want to move to here. That's where I want to get my next city. So that guy's going to go like that. This archer, um, uh, let me just think here. Who has the biggest hit? That guy actually has the biggest hit on this. And these guys are better against the, uh, spearmen. So... Uh, and we're going to make this Spearman disappear, not to mention this. This is going to be a really nice hit here. Because not only do we take care of the uh, one of the, um, the the Immortals, but we also take care of one of the Spearmen by being in that camp. So that's fantastic. So that's that done. Um, this Hippospist uh, is going to be able to do a really big blow on that guy. Um... He also does pretty well. I have a promotion available. Um, I think I might move him to there for a second. Hmm. He just hit this bus back in the action. I'm going to move him up under the hill to take his promotion because I want this guy here oh shoot oh that's not a hill this is a hill but that's not a hill though no, I can't even take that shot all right so this guy is gonna move to here we're gonna move Alexander forward for the hit which is a one shot now I can move the archer up onto the hill. Alright. And then... I don't want to expose this unit too much. He's getting pretty close to his next promotion. I'm going to step here and take a shot on the horseman. And then he won't be able to get hit because he's standing in here. And then um, he's he's going to be close to a promotion there. He's good there. This guy's going to move forward into position so he's close enough for that. That guy's going to be just behind. As is that guy there. And that should be it. We're going to keep the city, of course. And... Uh, encampment training and encampment training. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Are you talking about this spot here, Boom? The hill adjacent to the mountain and the river. Hey, Dirty Harry, how you doing? Uh, 
on the hill. Yeah, I was the encampment I'll probably put down here. For this city, I'll probably put the encampment down there. Or even here. If I can get that tile. Oh yeah, if, sorry, if I had built the encampment there. Oh, I see what you're saying. The encampment could have went through the city and then into here. Yeah, you're right. I could have built the encampment for this city right here. And then it would have went the, yeah, sorry. Good point. That's another option I could have used. Absolutely. Good point. Absolutely. Um, again, getting bogged down is, is a, of super annoyance in this uh, particular play. We've got to try and get pushed forward as best we possibly can here. So strategically finding ways to get these units dead. Just checking on what does what to whom. Uh, 61, 34, that's a really big hit. Uh, killing that horseman. Uh, that clears him out of the way. Um, this archer can take a shot onto him clear him out of the way and that opens up the uh, the um, the pathways in order to get to the uh, archers and stuff with our other units um, this archer's got lots of movement here I'm thinking I move him into this position here for a hit Like, oh, I screwed that up. I didn't move this guy forward. I didn't move him forward, so I didn't get the bonus. That was a mistake. My apologies. Uh, you staying on the road and... I need to get these guys caught up. It's driving me nuts. Um... Trying to do the math here and see which ones are the best hits. Fifty-nine, fifty-seven, fifty-five, fifty-five. I'd like to hit him if I could. Don't want to get surrounded. I'll get the kill here. I need this guy to get a safe kill. What is he at? 19 to 22. One more hit with this guy and he gets a promotion, but there's too many units around it. He, he'll get ganged up on and he'll be dead. Uh, I'm going to move him to there. 55, 34, Yeah, I can't let this guy get hit twice by these guys. It could it could be a death blow. Um, up here, right into the heteroes, and that guy can stay there. Let's let him heal for that turn. That should help out a lot. This guy's moving forward. Oh crap! Sorry, I miss moved him a bit. That's all right. Oof. Oof. They're taking shots at me, bro. Now, this is not actually very good at all. This is quite dangerous. Um, by now, what we would have normally done is taken this city, uh, which would have given us galleys if we'd had uh, her A galley, which would have allowed us to push them past. I mean, if we lost this city, it wouldn't kill us, but it would be kind of crappy. Because we have to get another city built. And this also could hurt as well. I'm not having a galley in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's have him go to there. 
time to push through the insanity. Man, there's a lot of units. Oh, he has a promotion. Okay, I'm gonna take the promotion. Always take the promotions. You get to there, you get to there. Uh, I'm gonna pillage this health. God, so many units. And then uh, 53, 51. Let's go ahead and take the shot in there. I really just, I don't want to get this guy ganged up on. And if, if I were to come around here and take this unit out, I'd get hit by two immortals. And the chariot archer, and then the horse would come in, and these two horses could both come in and hit me from here. And I would definitely die. I cannot allow that guy to die, so... I'm just going to let him stand there and, and heal for this turn. Uh, you can start to see where this... Um, where things can get bogged down with all these units coming in here. It is, uh, holy cow, frustrating. Turn 10. Him moved forward. Wait, what? Oh, I need, yeah, because look at this. Oh, the only tiles are near, are on my city, and that's why I gotta swap these out. Uh, let them have that, I think. I have one threes here already. I'm gonna grab that, of course, and that. And take that. Like that. 
and then choose production. The encampment will go right there, right next to the road. Would have liked to have put, uh, I could have put it there on the road, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't make any difference, really. Um, yeah, I like that spot. And then go straight into there. Um, I actually can move him to the left one, and now this guy will get hit by him this turn as well. Uh, I maybe could have done that, Kinshaw. I just I'm being a little bit cautious with him because he's been so injured. I wonder if I should settle this city now. No, I gotta keep the I'm gonna keep the settlers moving forward because it's they're gonna take a while to get up there, you know. <laughs> uh, start pumping up the heteroids. Yeah, maybe I could have done that because there's less chance of him getting ganged up on now, I suppose. That could have been a thing. Uh, I'm going to go and take this hit there. And move him to there. And then attack there. And attack there. And you take your promotion. And you range attack him. 56, 52. You take him down. And you come down there. Oh, crap. that hit in there we're gonna need a lot of momentum as quick as we possibly can spitting these settlers out it's gonna be tough yeah how much are settlers that's a good point they're 340 gold yeah because i need you know what i need to do is i need to start buying i just that's a good point i need to start buying the heteroids um yeah, I could later on. I could later on just buy some settlers in some forward cities in forward cities and just go and settle them quickly like that because they're not too pricey. It's not. It's not a bad idea either. So I've got a couple more heteroids coming in hot. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin. Yeah, I know this. We're gonna figure it out. Definitely ESP. Yeah. Wow, they came hard. They were they wanted that unit real bad. They wanted it so bad, man. They wanted that so bad. Now if you step to there and finish that dude off. You step to there and not finish him off. Take your promotion. Uh, this guy has a promotion as well. Let me pillage the health. Take the promotion. Uh, this guy has a promotion as well. Shoot. 
Oh my god, everyone's got a promotion. We're okay over here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take a hit here to sp speed this along. Shoot! I was hoping I could get there and take the promotion. Ah! I'm gonna have him go to there so that all these units get his uh, benefits. Next turn. Uh, I think I'm going to have this guy start to spit out a, a header or two. That's, it's taking too long to build a settler in that city. Just a little bit further than this when your turns ran out last night. Yeah, it's this... The movement strategy is is intense for sure. Uh, move him forward as far as I can. Uh, this guy needs to get his promotion. 60, 56. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that there. And... Kill him. Uh, get this guy as promotion. They don't get any boosts there. Those guys. It's hard. I, I don't know if I'm getting making enough progress or not. It's hard to tell. Six turns now on a heteroi, working the three good tiles, plus that one. We're almost a pop five. That'll be nice. Uh, in this city, none of this matters. It's all about the encampment. The location specifically of the encampment doesn't really matter because we won't be building any units. There's another general. That will help a lot. Uh, this archer... Unfortunately, I can't. I'm going to move him to here, only so that he's within range of the general. I'm actually going to just have him... So they put low disk base. I'm going to need to clear off... <laughs> All that Mewtwo videos. Uh... I'm going to transfer him here. Oh, I've got a worker in there. Uh, I'll have to transfer him to there. I might have that settler go here and grab that one. <laughs> Funny chat. Funny chat. Never on the work computer. Boom, never on the work computer. Folks, 
that right there is the end of episode two. 14 turns. Whew. It's all about momentum, and we're going to have to get a whole bunch of it as quick as we can. Uh, we're going to have to buy another Heteroi right there. Every time you got 240 gold, you buy another Heteroi. That's the rule. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.